Now, before we start talking about what keywords to use and what the description should be like and so on, we need to talk first about what you do before you write anything. And that is that you have to research your competition. You need to have a look at what your competition is doing. Now, you can either go to the top charts of the App Store or Google Play, or maybe just search for your competitors if you know their names and you can have a look in there. But you can also go to appani.com, which is where I do most of my research. It works very well for both iOS and Android apps. You can also go to sensortower.com. It's another resource I use quite often, and I really recommend both of them. Now, if you're doing appani.com, I would really suggest that you sign up because it just shows you a lot of really cool information. And it's a lot easier to browse and research your competition in here and find out exactly what they're doing than by just going to the iOS App Store or Google Play. Now we're gonna have a look at how AppAni works, but I just want to make sure that you guys understand I have nothing to do with AppAni. The only reason I'm showing you this is because I actually think it's a really good resource. So I have no affiliation with them whatsoever. But anyway, now let's go have a look at how it works. Okay guys, so this is AppAni.com and this is what it looks like. I think for you it will probably be a little bit different because you are not registered. But yeah, it's free to register and then you can subscribe to get some extra content if you want. But most of the, I, I'm not subscribed and all the information I get from here, uh, all the information I use is for free. Now what I do, sorry, is I go on tours and then I press store stats. But there are a lot of other things that you can have a look at. Some of them cost, but for example, there's ASO. There's store intelligence, audit intelligence, analytics, analysis. And there's a few, uh, very, very many things. So just definitely go and explore around. I am not gonna go through everything because it's a huge website, but I will tell you what you do in store stats, which is this part here. And then you have to go and click on explore store stats. This will take you to this, the main page. Uh, of the exploring the store stats. As you can see up here, you have iOS, you have Google Play, Amazon, Windows Phone, Mac, and Windows. So there's a lot of information in here. You have your device, the country, you have the category, you have if you want in a purchases, you know, or no in a purchases or all apps, and you have the date. In here, you can just, you know, you scroll around and you, you can see all the rankings. There's a ton of information. But for example, let's just quickly have a look at, let's say, category. I want to have a look at games and I'm going to have a look at trivia. Okay, so for trivia, the top free app is called Trivia Crack you may have seen or may have played with it. It's really popular at the moment. And the top paid one is Trivia Crack Ad Free, right? So instead of doing the ad free version as an in-app purchase, they just upload it to different ones. This is kind of like freemium, right? So, you know, it's both apps are exactly the same, except that this one doesn't have ads. And I've played with this one and the ads are actually very intrusive, they're quite aggressive. So I can see how a lot of people would just rather pay for this, the ad free. So this is another thing you can do if you want. I'm sure that if you go into the in-app purchases part, they have a link to this app so you can get the ad free version. And anyway, the top grossing one is again, Trivia Crack. And the same second place is Trivia Crack ad free, which just dropped down from first place. And then, yeah, you can have a look at all the other ones, but let's just click here on Trivia Crack. All right, as you can see, you get a ton of information here. You have the icon, you have all the screenshots in here. Uh, if you keep scrolling down, you get to see the description and then you get to see all the updates and things like that. If you look here on the right, the revenue estimate, how it's, been, it's done, how its revenue has been doing, this, you have to pay for it. I don't do it because I really don't think it's gonna benefit me that much. But if you keep scrolling down, you see where it has been featured in the iPhone, for example, it was one time in the homepage, 320 times in general iTunes, in the iPad, it was nine times in the homepage and things like that. So when you're researching competition or different apps, if you're planning on 
on focusing on iPhone, maybe you would have a look at this and be like, well, this one, it's, maybe it's more popular for iPad because it's just appeared more times in the homepage. So maybe I shouldn't worry that much about this one. I don't know, you would have to dig deeper, but you get to see the version updates and when they were updated. This one here is really important. You get to see the top in-app purchases. Look at all the ones that they have. Look at all the functionality they offer. Full recharge, 55 coin pack, 120 coins pack. Look at this, second and third place are $5 and $10. Look at that. Look at this one, 320 coin pack, $25, right? So just have a look at these and you can use these to get some ideas of what you do. You could download the app and then actually see what these things or these packs do. This is a great way to just do research into ASO in general. You get to see the, ran the ratings of, you know, current versions you can go before. And yeah, you can see an extra, some extra information. In here, if you go to the left, you get to see the daily ranks, how it's ranked daily. You get to see the rank history. But this one here, keywords and ASO, it's really, really cool. I really like it. It just tells you, you can just choose, for example, for iPad and for iPhone, you can compare how it ranks on certain keywords. So, you know, in here we have crown for the iPad and spin for the iPhone. And we can see that on crown, it is on first place. Uh, it was on first place on the 7th of March and spin was on 12th place. And you can just, you know, see how it goes. Right now it's on first for both of these. And you can just compare as many as you want, you know, in here. And I can just see how it's gone. Look at this, like they have, a, they're really good at optimizing. I mean, they're just in the top five for a lot of categories, a lot of keywords, sorry. So this, this would be an app that I would research more to try to learn what they're doing in order for me to do it so I could do it right so yeah just have a look around and you could just add a new keyword as well let's for example let's try funny it says funny in there so I'm just gonna try it so yeah there's no information for funny but you know you would just look around and and see what you can find I'm sure that if you have ideas for keywords you can just compare them to how your competition is doing. Uh, you could also see where it has been featured, the ratings it has and the reviews it's gotten. Right? So let's just have a quick look at the reviews. See, you can see the one stars, two stars, three, four, five stars. So, you know, it was getting a lot of five stars in May on the third and, you know, things like that. And yeah, you can just, there's a ton of them. There's yeah, they're in different, from different countries, but I probably just, you know, do it alphabetically and then go look for the one that I'm interested in. All right, but that, that is, you know, let's just, let's now go back to tours, uh, store stats and explore store stats again. So we saw how to, for example, look at categories and things like that. But there's also some pretty cool information here. You have top matrix. This one is so you can see how apps are ranking in different countries. This one you have to pay for it. But in here you, you can see keyword ranks, which is really useful. And I also use this one a lot. So for example, in here, I don't know, maybe we have an idea for a ninja game. So maybe I will go ninja running and see what I can find. Okay, it said no. Let's see, maybe just ninja. Okay, so there is 2,173 results. And then you can just see which ones are ranking high and which ones not so high. Look at that doodle jump 13 for ninja, that's pretty impressive but yeah anyway uh, you can just have a look at, like in here what is trending and for example this is in australia what is trending and yeah you can also have a yeah in here you would just do the re your your own keyword research 
right? So when your app is finished and or it's getting developed, actually, this is you you will come up with some keywords as ideas, and you will come here and look at the results and try to find some unique ones. But we'll look at how you do the keywords later on in this section anyway. But there is also the app database. Now in here you can search for an app or publisher, right? So let's for example say uh, search again for trivia crack that we were looking at. Okay, so unified apps, you you know these two come up, but these are all the results that were found. There's 66 apps in total that come up when you search for trivia crack, and then you can just have a look. Uh, all of this, for example, this is also more, it's just, there's so much information here and it's a great way to do research, right? So you would, you can just look at top rankings. You can look at how different countries are doing. You can look at icons, screenshots, keywords, descriptions, in-app purchases. You can see how apps are grossing. You can look at trends. There's so many things you can do, right? So. Definitely App Annie, I really recommend it. It's really cool and it will save you a lot of time from you know going to the respective app store. And it also, you know, the app store or Google Play, and it also has a lot more information available for you. And if you start getting really into this and you start, you know, seeing that you know your app business is doing very well and you need more information, yeah, maybe you can just subscribe uh, for a monthly fee or just pay for the pro version of the website and get more information. But like I said, I personally don't use it. I just browse around here and try to, to get some useful information for free.